Okay guys, this is what it will look like. So you won't even see the offset around it. It will just have the image itself, but the cutting machine knows that it does have a offset around the, um, around the actual image. So all you're gonna do is to place your image onto your cutting mat. Okay, now my cutting mat has been used quite a few times. I need to actually get a new one, but um, yeah, that's for another day. Um, so I just pop my image on my cutting mat and I actually put tape down because it doesn't stay on there because it's not very sticky. So hence why I need a new cutting mat. Okay, so once you have it all lined up and it's all sticking nicely, okay, we're then just going to load it into our cutting machine. So for those of you that don't know, this here is my Silhouette Cameo. It is the older version of it. Um, the newer version is has more um, of a bigger screen and it's touch screen, whereas mine is the older one. But it still does the exact same thing. Okay, so we're going to load it in. So we're matching it up. And we are going to hit load cutting mat. Okay. All right, and then we are going to then go to our computer and we're going to hit um, cut. Okay, so once you finish cutting out your image, you're then going to just hit unload. All right, and there is your image. And then you can then just remove your image like so. Like how quick and easy is that? Instead of having to sit there and cut, especially if you have to do quite a few of them, it is so much more easier to just um, use a cutting machine okay I've already gone ahead and cut up my reverse side all right so now I'm going to set up and we are going to start assembling and making our actual centerpiece but I thought it was a good idea to show you how I actually cut most of my decorations out by using my cutting machine alrighty so I'll be back with it all set up Okay, I am all set up and ready to go. So what you're going to need is your printables that you've just made, or if you don't want to make them yourself, I have um, them on my blog, so you're welcome to just download them and print them out. I'll have all the characters uh, that you would need. All right, so once you have both double-sided, um, both sides of your printables, you would need your hot glue, you would need a dowel, a wooden dowel. You would need some popsicle sticks. And you would need your wooden plaque. Okay, now you can make these wooden plaques yourself by buying a massive big piece of wood and cutting them down to size, drilling a hole in the middle of it, making sure obviously that they match the actual dowel size and then just painting it yourself. Okay, mine are just painted. Now you don't need a wooden dowel, uh, sorry, a wooden plaque. You can also use just styrofoam if you wanted to or florist foam and then just cover that. It's up to you what you use. I like to use wooden dowels and yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your first image and you're going to flip it over. We're going to take our wooden dowel. The first thing I would do is to pop my wooden dowel inside my plaque like so and then pull it out and see exactly how much has gone into. So that much there is what has gone inside the actual plaque. So I know that that much needs to be on the outside of my image. Okay. So like that. Okay. We're then going to take our hot glue and we are going to making sure that your image is straight. 
pressing down and then just adding a few popsicle sticks just to give it a little bit more support. Now this is not a huge centerpiece so it doesn't need that much support but if you were doing say a two foot centerpiece you would obviously need more popsicle sticks okay then we're going to take our reverse side and we're going to match it up like this and then we're just going to glue that together okay Okay, and there is your centerpiece. So quick and easy to make. All you need to do now is to pop it into your dial like that. And you are done. Okay, now I think these will make such a cute little addition to your table by adding just that little bit more of a, um, more characters and that um, you can even glitterify it by adding some glitter so different color glitter like purple glitter and green glitter and pink glitter in their hair and on the wings um, another great thing would be I'll show you is grabbing a box um, I got these boxes from a florist and all you would do is pop your wooden dial sorry your wooden plaque obviously that matches the size of that in here okay now in this case you would obviously make sure that the dial at the bottom is long enough so that it can go inside inside the um, the box even though that the actual image itself will be above the box okay so you would have a long dial pop the dial in there you can even add some tissue paper like all the rainbow colors so pink purples and blues and in there and pop that on top like that I don't know if you can really see that you probably can't let me just zoom out slightly there we go okay so something like that and then you can even decorate the box by you know um, printing out some uh, different type of um, digital paper that is the mermaid, I oh sorry, mermaid, the um, My Little Pony theme and um, or your child's age and name and a big ribbon, whatever you want to do. There's so many different ways of making these centerpieces, um, but I thought it was a great, um, a great thing to show you guys if you wanted to make them for your My Little Pony's birthday. Alrighty. And that is it. So I hope it wasn't too complicated on how to make these centerpieces. It is a lot more easier than um, I probably explained it. Um, but like I said, I do have the e-course where I go into more detail on how to make these printables um, that you're welcome to check out. I'll link it down below the video. And yeah, but if you have any questions and if you do like these type of videos where I show you the behind the scenes on how I actually designed it to how I cut it to how I printed it, um, I'll be more than happy to do it. Um, so please let me know if this is something you guys like and I will keep making them. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.